Hey everyone, welcome to Arts and Crafts with Tammy. Today we're going to do a corbel sconce light. I saw this online and I really wanted to try to do it myself. So here it goes. I noticed most of the ones online that were doing this were using 2x4. However, I had 2x3 remnants and decided to use that for my sconce light. Then you need a hanging light kit. I went online and I found these. It ended up being two for $15.99. The last thing you'll need is the decorative light bulb cages. I found these for $7.99 each. Now to cut the wood. The first piece of wood needs to be a straight cut at 11 inches. The next one will be a straight cut at 18 inches. And the last cut you'll need to have it at 11 inches from long point to long point. Both ends cut at a 45 degree angle. Then I used my router to cut out a notch on only one end of the wood that was cut at 45 degrees, as you can see in the picture. Even though I messed up a little bit while doing this, you're not gonna see the flaws once it's all put together. Then you take the other 11 inch pieces of wood with the straight cut, and you drill two holes in them, as you see in the picture. I used one and one eighth inch spade bit to make these holes, but of course it all depends on what kind of light kit that you purchase and what size plug it has. Because as you can see in the picture, you're going to have to put the cord through both holes. But before you put the cord through, we need to attach everything together first. Alright, so I hope this makes sense. But first, you take the 18 inch pieces of wood. Then you glue the 11 inch pieces of wood, the ones that were had the straight cut, you glue it to them. However, I didn't glue it to the very top, I did it an inch from the top. Then I countersunk two screws on the back end of it. Now this would be a good time to stain it since we're gonna be assembling it together. I personally use sun bleached stain. Now this would be a good time to assemble your light bulb cage with a light kit. Now when this is completed and the stain is dry, then we can assemble everything together. First, you're going to put the plug through the first hole and then through the second hole and pull it all the way down. Once that's done, then we're gonna go ahead and attach the angled piece of wood. Make sure that the part that is notched out is at the bottom so that the cord can go through it. Again, we attach this with wood glue and we countersunk two screws, one at each end. And here's my final project. What I was super excited about is that each one of these lights ended up costing me $16. So for the whole project was $32. Believe it or not, on Etsy, I found them between $95 to $150 for a set. I hope this gives you ideas and inspiration. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to get more ideas, subscribe and hit the notification button. In the meantime, happy crafting!